I mean, this could be a preview of what we see in a few, in a little, in a few weeks, right? But this is just fighting to get into <laughs> top, top eight. eight. Yeah. <laughs> this is how stacked this tournament was. These guys, you would expect, you know, evil finalists, evil champions, fighting not to get into top eight of this event. And I mean, you know, we've seen this matchup, like you said, first half of this year. Well, even last year, right? Yeah. Even last year, Evo Japan, uh, in out there in Thailand for the challenger event that they had out there. Kuro Kuro sets where they ran those first to tens. My question now is, what's the character selection for Neat, right? He's been very insistent on the Devil Jin and Steve so far, right? But the big thing is, and I talked to Arsene Ash about this, something that I really wanted to ask him in Thailand was when Kudans came out here for that invitation that they had earlier this year, which they don't have the camera on me. I'm smiling. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not sure if everyone's been paid for. But the big thing is, he talked about what he learned with Kudans and when okay. they were able to train and practice. He said he feels like Kudans is, I mean, for Devil Jin, that's, I mean, everybody knows. Yes. Right? We already associated with him, him with that character by name. But he says actually his wealth of knowledge in terms of techniques and in terms of just what he knows about the character and even how to fight against him blew him away. And he was able to absorb some of that knowledge. In particular, there's a visual cue that really helped him. Okay. He saw. He said specifically, Kudans taught him how to pay attention. What the is? Yo, is this a butt check? No. All right. <laughs> never mind. Don't worry about it. So I had. Well, Nee's probably been researching, trying to find an answer for Arslan. So is this the answer, Negan? Walking we haven't. Negan. Yeah, we haven't seen Nee Negan since what that uh, Korea Japan exhibition earlier this year, where Nee pretty much said, "I'm. I don't think I'm gonna play this character very long." But. Well, you saw they, him run it once against Coleman. Yeah, yeah, that too, right? But, I mean, what answers could Negan have for Kazu? Probably just a little bit unfamiliarity, maybe? Slight unfamiliarity? Perhaps, yeah. I guess we'll find out. Here we go. You walking dead, fan? Oh, yeah, man. I love the uh, the Negan and um, and Ricky. I've never watched this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be selling the product, man. Come on. There we go. One more two. Nice step. I've seen all set, all seven seasons. Nah. Nice go. uppercut here. Gets on. Okay, power up. Mm -hmm. Boom. One thing you can't say, this character does get good return. Able yeah, to fight it nice really far range. Nice duck. Duck. So yeah, ready. Drops the combo. That's brutal, man. You, you did the hard part. Yeah, probably just a bit unsure what to do with the wall so close by. Yeah, that's what I want to see. If Arson is unfamiliar with this matchup, how does he slow it down? When these two have played so... Man, it feels like every... Single jab, every single hit is so hard. It's so meaningful as well. Yeah. They're doing it for a reason. Okay, it does have rage available though. This is kind of uncharacteristic of the matchup between the players, too, right? We're used to seeing them fight so compact, keep it very low risk. They just, like, just goes to the down back, too. Round two. Okay, Arthur and Ash, one game, uh, one set. Yeah, maybe if this gets extended, we'll see it probably slowly, slowly come more, com become more and more compact, right? <laughs> He's in that down forward one pressure. Yeah. Trying to fish for a counter hit four. It's just a subtle mix between jab, down forward one, back two. It's very methodical play. Thunder, right? Very methodical. They're, they're looking for that time angle. Big counter hit. Nice. I love that fuzzy dunk there. Steven playing, Steven playing very patient here. Trying to, they, both, they both play very patient, trying to find their openings there. No one wants to overexert at this moment in time. There's so much respect for each other. Nice. Oh step. my god, what a sidewalk. We're using that pressure. Jumpers are there in each other's face. Plus frames. Trying to see what Arson's going to do. Okay, and nice I like, duck. And I like that even after that, that great sidewalk, Arson did not overcommit, right? He's not overextended. Crimson Dawn lets the follow up rip. Stomp on him. Eight, seven, six, six. seconds left on the clock. He's, He's got to go in. Right. Yeah, he had to. He had to do it. I respect it. And the flash punch for the whiff punish. The guys are playing so compact, making little mistakes. And, and every Arson, mistake that's made. Arson playing, yeah. he, he had that release, a physical release as soon as he hit that flash punch. But it's so intense. Yeah. And one of the things that's probably the hardest thing to do in Tekken is to not press buttons and just move methodically like they're doing now. Just picking your time. It's not all about pressing the buttons. Mm. There's so much going on here from just the movement. Very subtle yeah. differences in, ca in, in, in cadence and timing. Okay, nice lock on the low. Nice back to try. Seal that step. Okay, break on the throw. Nice break. Went for oh. it again. She's got jab pressure. Kazumi so strong. Okay, nice block on the down back too. Again, he goes for it again. Let's it rip and just, uh, just poking him out. Okay. So I'm, I'm wondering, is what's um, Negan? Uh, is he gonna stick with Negan? I mean, this is loser's side. So now he has to make the bet. You know, it's also possible that maybe he's just 
trying stuff out too, right? Oh yeah, well, he's, he's comfortable. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's comfortable enough on yeah. course. This is a tour event. You have to contextualize it within that framework, right? It's possible maybe he's just, you know, he's been working on Negan in the background. Maybe just wants to see, right, how it goes. Trying to find the answer. Searching. Ever, ever so searching. So yeah, just a stage, stage change. Going to Mr. Madojo. Mm. So we got Arsene Ash one game up. So it's just, like I said, just a lot of this jab pressure there. Arsene Ash, well, that's what Kazumi excels in. Ooh, using wow. that jab, seeing what your opponent's going to do. I think JCR made four. that video about the one jab and seeing how yes. your opponent reacts. Yeah. It's such great advice, even at the low, from the lowest level play all the way up to the highest. Yeah. You well, you're the, seeing it a lot the now. The power of it, yeah. yeah. Nice. A lot of his play style revolves around that, right? Just such strong, compact play in range zero like that. Okay, one, two, two. Okay, plus range. We're gonna go. Okay, nice oh, flash dunk. Nice dunk. That's something that everybody talks about that's played casuals with Arsenal this weekend. It's, it's so hard to open him up low. His reactions and his flash dunking are exceptional. Yeah, knee. Like you said, this is just literally just a death by a million paper cuts here. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it literally That's is. a good way to put it, yeah. Okay, down forward, just poking away each other, trying to break each other mentally here. And I like as soon as I said that, he just runs up past him a little two times. For no reason. <laughs> this, but this is a real mental mind game here between the two. Okay, nice with punish. That's what I was saying before, especially these two in a long set. It, it's mentally draining the way that they play. Think about this. It's just such small, so many decisions made in this close range like this right here. Between step, flash ducking, jabbing back, back dash. Okay, one one. Nice rolling thunder, max range. Back dash on out of there. So you're gonna see, just really picking their points perfectly. Oh, nobody pressing the button. No one wants to press, no. Let that thing, they're biding their time, waiting for the, the correct time rock? to press. That's the mind games there, letting it rock. Oh, you can feel this pressure, man. Like one one. Okay, one one two, one, nice. Two, and he finally catches the step in. go, eight seconds left on the clock. Knee needs to make a move now, just fly, fly away. away. Okay, needs to make a move. Oh! And just flies away. He's probably gonna. Yeah, Arson Ash. Arson Ash, you devil! Round three. Fight. Everything bows before him. Time itself. <laughs> down forward one. Yeah, down forward one. He's now starting mixing those lows. Trying to fish for that counter here. It's interesting that after the down for one, he doesn't actually fishing for the counter here. Four. It is minus frames, but just the respect from these two. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, you're scared to commit. Still commit yeah. it. That's face, right? Okay, big. This is probably the first combo we've seen in the set. <laughs> this is gonna go to the wall. Nice big damage. Taking a side. But puts himself towards the wall. Oh, but gets out. Just, just like Why not? Get out. Okay, using that back too. Trying to catch. Knee stepping. Oh, this neutral real halal right now. <laughs> oh God. Touch him low on the then string rock. Okay, plus range. What are you gonna do? Jab keeps him respectful. Jab down for one. Thief smacks on out. Oh, flies just out of range. Arslan Ash set point on knee. Loser side to get in the, one to get in the top eight. <laughs> to get in the top eight in Dubai. And yeah, knee needs to find the answer here. But Arslan Ash's defense is so good. His key power as well with the one jab. Okay, nice throw break. Yeah, this is like the first throw attempt that we've seen in an entire game. Oh, that was the first call we saw in the last round. Yeah. Okay, down three. Yeah, max range lows. You can use that down forward one just to pressure. Nice. Okay, First running two we've seen all set. Gets in there. It's a clean hit. Oh! Ooh, okay, L sweep. Is Arsene Ash gonna check? Okay, that's gonna be a low. Okay, gets the jabs. Why to crush the low? And he did it again! Okay, to turn it up a little bit. Here comes Knee though. Knee, Knee. This is. Um, knee's torn. I mean, Ash. Black. And Ash has the life lead. One plus two throw broken. Down okay, four nice. ones. He's starting to add up for Knee now. Trying to bring this likely back. Well, there's 12 seconds left on the clock. He needs to do something. Jab pressure. Okay, down forward one pressure. Down forward one. And he lets it oh! rock. That was so risky. Th three, two, two. What's going to happen? He's going to have to do something. Oh. Arslan uh, Ash with the timeout. Let's go. 2-0 over knee here in Dubai. But again, give it up, guys, for knee.